Hi guys, welcome, thanks for joining me, Sarah Heisel here at Gone with the Dogs um, for another video. In this video, we are going to be working on understanding the thresholds and maintaining criteria for leave it. Now, once you've achieved verbal leave it with your dog, which means, you know, they understand that leave it means as a cue, which is all you say, um, that I'm going to stop looking at an object of attraction and then look back at you and get marked and treated, how do we transfer that to a more general understanding? How do we work that criteria? How do I maintain that criteria? When do we call leave it, okay? Leave it as a cue is the timing of it, when to call it, is very important. So the moment that your dog notices something before much thought or much choice can occur is when you want to call leave it. And in our dogs, that moment is the second, the very second they see an object of desire, an object of attraction for them, okay? Now to kind of demonstrate what that looks like is for instance, this is a cheeky roll, and I'm gonna place it over here on the floor. And if I'm a dog and I want you know, and my owner wants to be successful in calling leave it for me, one, I'm going to start this at a distance, okay? So my handler should work this at a distance. So somewhere at this distance, whatever you're working beginning, beginning leave it or proving criteria for leave it, you want to start at a distance. See if your dog can be successful, okay? Now success between distance and timing is important. So if I wanted to be successful with my timing for leave it with my dog, I would need to call leave it the moment my dog notices it, okay? So if I'm a dog and I'm strolling along and I'm not paying attention, I look over and notice the cheeky roll. At this look, at this moment right here, leave it. That is when you want to call leave it. Now, what are you looking for in your dog when you call leave it, okay? Leave it should be the only thing that you do or say that gets your dog to stop focusing on that attraction, in this case the cheeky roll, and begins to focus at you. So for instance, I'm walking along, I'm a dog, I notice it, leave it, yes, okay? And then we move forward. Now, say you've proved it where you can get leave it, leave it, yes. Leave it, yes, at this distance. Raise criteria, move a little bit closer. Now, I've added challenge. So my criteria, or what my dog can do, is not gonna be as, say, instantaneous with its leave it as it was before. They may hesitate a little bit. So I'm coming along, I'm coming along, I notice it, leave it. Yes, okay? They may not turn their head as fast or soon as they did before. You must wait for them to make the choice on their own. One of the common mistakes that I see is, is one, people go from successful, leave it, leave it at this distance, and then they, okay, now we're ready for this distance, okay? So you've taken on too much distance or shortened it too much for your dog to be successful, okay? So you wanna make sure that you slowly increase distance to your object of attraction to be successful. And the other thing too is, is you wanna maintain your criteria for waiting for choice, okay? So for instance, if I'm doing a moving leave it, okay? This is what I see a lot of. Dog targets on it, leave it, leave it, leave it, and someone's jerking on them, okay? And just pulling them along. And at some point your dog gets yanked into obedience. And the choice of leave it never really occurred, okay? So what would we ideally want that to look like, okay? So I'm working on loose leash, and I'm a dog, okay? This is what it should look like. Walking along, notice it, leave it, yes, and then we continue moving, okay? So you don't want to continue moving if your dog doesn't leave it, and you want to wait for them to choose the leave it on their own, okay? 
You know you're ready for the next level of criteria or closer distance when you can, nine out of ten times, the second you call leave it, your dog within less than one second will turn to face you. Okay? Don't move closer to the object or add a new object until you can get that less than one second redirection of choice. Okay? So, this is a cheeky roll. Now I've got my dog here, we are walking over or leave it to do the cheeky roll. Okay? So, next criteria. Do a different leave it. Now we're going to work leave it with say a toy. Okay? New leave it object. Different object of attraction for your dog. Before it was food, now it's a game. Okay? I want him to leave his toy. Am I going to start right over the toy like I did with the cheeky roll? No. Anytime you're working a new leave it object of attraction, you always begin once again at distance. Prove your dog's threshold. When does he notice it? Does he notice it here? Okay? If you're at this distance and he doesn't notice it at all, okay? Maybe try a little bit closer. Maybe at this distance he notices it for the first time, okay? Whatever distance your dog notices something for the first time is the first distance you want to work leave it, okay? Again, maintaining criteria. The second they look at it, leave it. Wait for your dog to look back at you of their own accord without any further encouragement to anybody or any physical tugging for leave it, okay? It must be a choice. Leave it. Yes. Okay, before you move forward. Thanks for watching.